All right, YouTube, it's Tim here. I'd like to chronograph the dowel rod bow. This time we have overcast sky, but there is a little bit of sun peeking out. So taking some advice, I put up a box here. This is really, really a uh, ad hoc setup, but again, this should be okay. Now the funny thing is, yes, this does slant back, but or from front to back, it slants downwards. From back to front, the driveway slants the opposite direction, so it really almost comes out to a flat level surface. Let's just give it a try, see what happens. Maybe today we'll be more successful with the more favorable weather. Okay, standing, here's one arrow length. I'm gonna stand that far away. 135.9, okay, that's a real reading. Forty-five point four. Tried to draw that one a little farther. I am pretty confident this is just a weather issue. Got no change in the reading there, so either it's the same or it didn't pick it up at all. Well, that's an error. I need to make more be more careful. Let me go retrieve the arrows and try it again. That brings me to another point. People had commented on how easy it was to remove arrows from a carpet target? I don't think so. Half the time they slide in really easy between the uh, the layers in, and get stuck in the pile. Those just pop out no problem as advertised. The others, half of my arrows may be less than that, but still a substantial number of them actually hit the base, that dense matting of polypropylene or whatever it is, and it gets stuck in there. That's not pleasant at all. So. Say what you will, I'm gonna say I don't think it really is all that much easier to get it out of than a cardboard target. It beats it hands down for durability though, no question about it. Okay, here's a shot. Hundred forty five point eight. Seems like this bow is probably pretty stable around that. Maybe it'll hit 150 feet per second. Let me try and hold the bow a little lower. That was not a good draw, I think. Yeah, you can see these numbers just fine. That makes me happy. Good. I'm pretty sure I can crack 150 feet per second with this bow. But that's not saying that much. That's a, a good number, that's solid. But it's not better, substantially better than typical wood bow. Which I guess in a sense this is. Yeah. All right. Well that goes and proves my point. This is a, a fine bow, shoots just as fast as a U3 curve, but it's longer. It's also nice and stable in the handle. You could build it up, you could cut a, if you had a larger one, you could cut a shelf out. Man, if I had a lathe, you could turn down the ends to a nice size to insert, and then still have enough meat to cut away. You can do some really cool stuff. Then think of one other possibility. Oak ha handle, oak tips, replace all this mass with light, light wood, not necessarily oak, say poplar better, something like that. That could be a heck of a bow. Anyway, thanks for watching.